Long ago, humans rejected Melazines, and Melazines feared humans. There was one Melazine who became fascinated with human medicine, but no human wanted her help. And there was one girl who liked Melazines, so no humans would make friends with her. So, the Melazine became the girl's friend, and the girl became the Melazine's patient. Mm hmm Your checkup's all done. You're still in perfect health. <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Melazine. <laughs> in this game of doctor and patient, a friendship was born. Then, one day, the girl fell ill. The Melazine was the only doctor to arrive on time. But the adults sent her away. Scram! Melazines can't be trusted! <sighs> so just because I'm not human, I can't save my best friend? In desperation, the Melazine approached the frightening witch. She begged and begged until she got a reply. If you take this potion, concocted of sin, you will gain a human face and grow human limbs. But then, you will lose everything that attracted this friend of yours to you in the first place. Can you accept that? The Melazine did not hesitate for very long. <clears throat> on a rainy night, a little doctor knocked on the girl's door. The doctor wore a hood and raincoat, maybe to protect her from the rain, but maybe also to hide a secret. The little doctor held the girl's hand and treated her illness, just as she had so many times before. Dawn came, and the little girl's condition improved. But the little doctor was long gone, for she knew her friend would never recognize her again. The verdict came down. This Melazine is guilty. The Udex defended the authority of Fontaine Law, but he did not confiscate the Melazine's medical kit. And so, the Fortress of Meripede gained a new little doctor. She still wore her hood and raincoat, even though it never rained in the fortress. Perhaps thanks to her human appearance, no one refused her treatment. She treated more and more patients, and her sentence grew ever shorter. Finally, the people of the fortress could not live without her, and though her sentence ended, she did not leave them either. Then one day, she received an invitation from the outside world. The location seemed familiar, and when she arrived, an old lady was waiting for her. She saw right through the Melazine's disguise, but didn't reveal it. Instead, she asked a question. Tell me, why do you think you gained the respect of so many people, despite being a Melazine? Because... I look like a human? <laughs> it's been 50 years, Sijuin, and you haven't aged a day. I think everyone knows you are not human. I finally found you, after all these years. I still remember, you know. It was you who saved me that night. <gasps> but... how? I was no longer a Melazine by then. Does it really matter if you're human or Melazine? <sighs> I remember the warmth of your palm. <sighs> it's quite unmistakable. And you know what? It hasn't changed one bit. You don't have to hide anymore, Sijuin. These days, everyone wants to make friends with Melusines. And I think that it's all because of you. 
I'm sorry I couldn't say this until now, but thank you, Dr. Melazine.